How is it going guys? We're back again with another video. Today we are doing a Slay World type video like Can Can. Last night I was streaming. I streamed for about an hour. The stream was a little bit laggy. So if I do stream again, hopefully it's not laggy. Hopefully I get that situated. But I mean, I was just I was just going hard yesterday. I was trying to, you know, just I was just I was just feeling myself with the beats. So we hopped on live and made a little destroy lonely type B and then the first beat we made I don't even remember what it was, um, but I, I remember the second one was a destroy only type beat, like the sample type beats. But uh, at the end of the stream, I asked for suggestions, and somebody mentioned they wanted a can can tutorial, and I was like, "How have I not done a can can tutorial yet, bro?" These can can beats are always like really chill. They're like a yeet beat, but like chilled down a little bit. It's like it's like yeet if he was just like sleepy almost, right? And so we're just gonna get into this really quickly. Of course, you guys already know I'm promoting this, bro. I gotta like, pro I'm trying to make it, bro. Like I really am. Like that sounds crazy. Like that sounds nuts, right? But bro, I, I I put everything, I put all that I do into this. Like, bro, these songs just passed my number one song. This song is like, this has been my number one song for a while. And these, this is from my new EP. All four of these songs are from my new EP. Like, bro, you guys gotta go check this out for for real. Like, you guys are sleeping, like... And I'm, I'm gonna show you guys some techniques from my songs in upcoming uh, videos. I'm gonna be doing some breakdowns of how I, you know, these certain techniques that I use for my vocals and all these, you know, little techniques that I do for my music. I'm gonna show you guys the sauce for real. Like, I got some, I got some underrated tips that no one really uses. So, with that, with that being said, um, go check that out. Uh, and also join my Discord um shout out prod racer he helped me get that discord situated but all right let's just start this uh so the first thing all the melody is just serum right so if you don't if you don't have serum you can download a demo of it where you get it for 20 minutes and then it'll just cut out but then you can re-put it back into your channel rack so you pretty much have serum forever for free i have not spent a single dime on serum and i've made so many beats with serum uh and it, it's just their demo you know so it's not like you're you're pirating anything, um, which I, 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 you know, I don't care if someone pirate pirates their stuff. Uh, I just personally don't want to because I'm trying to make something out of it. So let's start with this ARP. We got a little ARP. Um, I don't have the preset for you guys, but I do have the mini MIDI chords. Here's what that sounds like, and I'll show you guys the chords. So I don't have the exact, um, it's pretty much just like this, right? Something like this, uh, or it could just be like just that, but then put this up an octave or up two ranges, something like that, right? Not complicated. Just find, uh, just find some chords that you like and then arpeggiate them by clicking alt a and clicking alt a you'll, it'll bring you this arpeggiator, put this range to two or keep it at one. I like to go. I like to go between one and two, um, and then change this a lot. You can most of the time for an ARP, you're gonna want it around like here or here. Um, but yeah, that is how you arpeggiate things, um, and that's honestly a really good way to get these kind of beats going. Uh, is just finding like some nice chord or yeah, some nice chords with a nice pluck, and then arpeggiate it. So next we got this. Um, this is the second instance of Serum. We got, this is like a little lead. Simple, simple, simple. Um, it just, you know, it gives it a little, it, go, it gives a little chill flow. It, it descends, the pattern is descending. And then at the end, it comes up just one semitone. Um, so nothing crazy there. It's really just like simple, just following kind of the melody. And yeah, I mean, this kind of gives you the structure for what you're going to want for your bass, right? Um, as you guys will see later. Uh, and then next we got another instance of Serum. Uh, the third instance of Serum. This is what this sounds like. So the reason I put this note one above this is that adds a little bit of dissonance which can have like a it gives like that slay world type of vibe where it's like um they're like the, the notes are really close together so they give like a like a like a not angry but like a like a ah man i can't even like an antagonizing kind of sound right this those that same uh this same um 
the same method was used for like uh autumn's uh antagonist album he used this kind of method on a lot of his songs that he produced on that on that album uh so that is all for the melody we'll play the melody really quick and this is in d minor by the way 130 bpm anywhere from 130 to like 145 is probably 130 to 150 is probably best for slay world type beats um, and then next we got the drums. First I got this Beano hi-hat. I've used this in multiple videos. Uh, but then we went pretty far into the, uh, lower octaves for these. Um, we're gonna lower these in velocity just a tiny bit, right? Um, so it's not as harsh. I'll play this really quickly. So... With this, you kind of want something like at the start, it's like just chill, right? But then you want to bring some more in on the second half, right? We rust some more in, bring some lower notes, just add some, you know, just get a little, get a fire hi-hat pattern. I know you guys are good with hi-hat patterns. You guys, you know, find your way with them really easily. Uh, next, we got, uh, this is the Be Nice To Me Clap by, I don't know, it's from uh, Blade Kit, but uh, I, I just thought this worked. I just thought this uh, clap kind of worked. So it's on the three as usual. Um, this is how most trap beats are gonna, you know, have their pattern for their clap is on the third. Um, and then next we got the wonky hat. This is a yeet, uh, yeet hi uh, open hat. It's just a um, just an open hat that has like a flanges on it, right? Nothing that crazy. And then we got another open hat on here. This is a I don't know, it's just called Signature. This is in our kit, of course, which will be in the link in the description. Or it will be a link in the description as well as the EP and a few other things that you might want to check out after this. Really simple. Um, I don't know why it keeps playing over and over again. But yeah, really simple um, pattern there. Uh, let's just make sure that... Yeah, no, these don't have... Yeah, no loops. All right. Um, sometimes if you put something in here and it plays over and over without you like clicking it in, it could have um, this button selected. It's gray right now, so it's not in effect. But this used loop points, if it's on and it's red, it's going to loop your sound over and over again. So you want to click that off. Um, next, we got this, the meh 808. You guys, everyone knows this 808. This 808 became probably one of the most used 808s in these type of beats. Um, rightfully so, bro. It's like a deep, like, sub bass like a growl type of it's just it's a really good bass i can't lie um it wasn't first used in a whole lot of red but that's where it kind of like uh, got some notoriety so with my envelope in this uh, i made it look like this you want to turn down the delay attack decay sustain and release and keep the hold all the way up this will make sure that your 808 cuts off right when you want it to so this lands onto the clap the clap is right there so it lands right before the clap so that you hear the clap a little bit better right not only that but we have a second 808 that comes in this is the chase the money 808 this is a really popular 808 with can can yeet um summers this is what it sounds like So this descends and then it ascends back. Uh, it just kind of creates like a perfect loop in my opinion. And so I thought that was, you know, really simple for the um, pattern. We just go from a C sharp to a G sharp. It plays twice down here and then just one and two on this side. Um, and that's really it. The structuring of this beat, it comes in right away. It plays the melody for two bars and then just boom, it comes straight into it. Um, I got my little tag right here. It plays the whole thing right there. Uh, and then it goes to just this melody with the drums minus the Chase the Money 808. And then it brings it back in. Uh, comes back in with the main melody, the arpeggiated melody. And then right here we have that little lead that kind of follows the bass notes a little bit. Um, we keep all the 808s in, all the drums in. We keep them all in. And right here we add that third melody back in. Right here we take out the clap and the hi-hat. Uh, so it sounds like this. <laughs> So there's no hi-hat or clap. 
we right here we bring the hi hat back for uh for a whole for four bars and then we bring the clap back in and then we take out the open hat and the chase the money 808 and two of the second and the third serum melodies uh for eight bars right here we bring this back uh we bring the third instance back and then we bring this open hat back and the chase the money uh 808 back for another eight bars um and then we have everything back for the next 16 bars and it just fades out like that so i'll play the beat now um i appreciate you guys for checking this out i hope you guys like this beat let me know what you thought about this um i started making beats around eight months ago um and bro every day i just hop on you know do do a little some for probably about a few hours i've only missed about four or five days right um and that's really it. I've only, I'm not even been producing a year and I'm already getting placements with people, right? I'm already getting paid for this. You guys just gotta, you know, put, if you really got this passion for it, just do everything you can. Like post content everywhere that you can, bro. Like I honestly didn't think I'd be where I'm at now whenever I started and I'm super thankful and I appreciate you guys. Um, definitely go check out that EP. Um, I love y'all and uh, go follow me on you know whatever platform. Hit me up. I'm, I always reply back. Um, and download that uh, drum kit. It's got everything you need. And that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.